The U.S. military largest scale fleet deployed to South China Sea as Beijing began its maneuvers. Some United States Navy aircraft carriers headed to the South China Sea for ward off Chinese aggression, and the U.S. Navy also dispatched four other warships in region. Vietnam country expressed its strong opposition to the exercises in territory, and both the United States and the Philippines has indicated their deep concern. In fact, China has deployed three theater naval forces, the Northern, Southern, and Eastern Theater Command navies, in South China Sea, East China Sea, and also the Yellow Sea, respectively, for simultaneous, large-scale exercises in region. However, it was not only the U.S. Navy conducting maneuvers in the territory. But, earlier, on July 1st ago, China's People Liberation Army Navy also began its own maneuvers in the South China Sea. On July 2nd that ago, the U.S. Department of Defense commented on the exercises, stating that the China's military actions will further destabilize the situation in the South China Sea. Among them, the Southern Theater Command Navy conducted drills in sensitive waters of the South China Sea region, which are the subject of territorial disputes in recently, and some other around the Parasol Islands. According to United States media and recently, this is the largest scale fleet deployment by the United States in the South China Sea in recent years. These islands came under practical control of China, then, when China defeated South Vietnamese forces, in the Battle of the Parasol Islands region. However, now both China and also Vietnam assert territorial claims over them in region. And in late June, China also has announced, that it would be conducting military exercises in the waters around the Paracels from July 1st to 5. The China's military exercise in disputed waters of the South China Sea is highly provocative. Say Mike Pompeo, in tweets from his own account in a few days ago. The Chinese Navy surface ship unit was conducting drills in region, to counter surface and also air attacks, as far as can be ascertained from these reports. However, although the drills addressed elements of electronic warfare, or such as jamming, they do not seem to have been otherwise unusual from the previous exercise. It was also reported that the American Navy aircraft carriers has conducted flight operations in areas, but there were no reports of special tactical operations. Nevertheless, what create tension on this occasion is the simultaneous presence of the United States Aircraft Carrier Task Forces, and also some of the Chinese Navy fleet in such a small area. It is extremely rare for both the U.S. and Chinese naval forces to conduct exercises in the same waters in recently. However, it seems that both sides intentionally held drills in close proximity in region. This according to United States and in Taiwanese media.